true. It's damn true. It's true. It's true. You better recognize who the hell we are. Damn. Stay tantalizing. Stay tantalizing. Ooh, stay tantalizing. Stay tantalizing. Stay tantalizing. Stay tantalizing, Roddy. Tantalizing. Stay tantalizing. What? Stay tantalizing, all right? Stay tantalizing. What he said. Stay tantalizing. Stream yard. I'm at Stream Deck. Needs a little wake up call. Uh, okay. All right. Are we live? Ready? We are live. Well, what's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the Ten Lies and One. And as you can see, I'm not in the studio. Kira, where am I? You are live in Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> live in Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania. For Alpha Junior's Wrestling Academy. B yes. Uh, Alpha one Samoan Dynasty members. Alpha yes. and Aoi. I know I. I was pronouncing wrong. No disrespect to Samoans. I don't want chops. I don't want to get beat up. I have a bad diction problem. But listen, we're live here. Right now, they're running the class. Alpha is on the actual apron right now. And I'm going to show you this footage. Okay. As you get as you get set up over there, you are the worst producer ever. So as you can see, they're doing drop kick drills right now. They've got to have enough um, space in between their jump and the actual wrestler. You have to make sure you go for the left shoulder right here. I'm doing a little bit of, you know, breaking the fourth wall right now. But, hey, listen, I'll do what I can do when I can do it. Kira, we have any, we have any people watching? We do indeed. Well, indeed. Who are they? Because I can't see who they are. We are going to say hello to Angel. Wrestling All Day Podcast. Welcome to the channel. Miss Mary. I'm Miss Mary. And Don't West miss. Is live right now at some backstage content. So as you can see, it's a clear. It's a clear to get away from when you when you kick, you have to extend and get away. Let's get see me get off of to say a little something. He's busy, but we'll see. So. Hold on, so Alpha's right behind me, over my left shoulder. And as you can see, he's barking out orders. So as you can see, I've been here about 40 minutes now. I, just, I did a little Facebook video and I'm running the camp. These guys haven't stopped. So their cardio has got to be up. But prior to this, they were in the ring doing cardio for about 30 minutes. So they're definitely um, conditioned. And these gentlemen here and lady, they're definitely ranging age from, age from about 18 to someone in their 40s. And... We'll have some breaking news later on Friday this week, what's going on with Tina Lies and Tony. But um, it's not about me today, even though it's my show. Um, Kira, if you, uh, I forgot I had to do over-the-top rope with Jared today. Totally blew my mind. Totally slipped my mind. So um, 
Yeah. Shout out to Miss Steal Your Dips. Well, we we if he watched the channel, he would have known that you were going out today to see Mr. Alpha Jr. Hold on. Here we go. Alpha's in the ring. So now listen, Alpha's an accomplished wrestler. He used to be Manu in the WWE. Can we come up with a, come up with a gra graphic of Manu from WWE so people exactly know that he is legit, which he is. I also come to Samoan Storm. Alpha Jr. is wrestling under a few names. But let me tell you, he gets in the ring with his guys. Get Pull up his age for me too, Kira. And this is a short notice, guys. So look, right now he's in the prime because you hit your prime about 35, 36 in wrestling. So between 37 to 42 is when you really can get it going because you know it's not just about your body it's about your mind and he knows his ring he knows his ring he knows the area he knows the psychology which is very important so we're going to try to get him i'm going to you know i will be in the ring at some point i'm not taking any bumps today I, I, i'm not medically cleared right kira indeed So do ask ask the nation if you have any questions, you know. And how's my audio, by the way? We can hear you, but we can't hear the background noise that much, like people talking. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Because I'll just commentate it for you. Here we go. So right now, Alpha is Alpha Junior. Uh oh, we go. We're gonna we're gonna arms our Let's go. Shoot him in. Okay. Here we go. Reverse into the corner. Up and over. Front bump. On the bump. Okay, now we're going this way. Listen, now you can tell some of the guys may be a little more athletic than other guys, but they slow down for them and they go at a good pace and Alpha paces them the right way, which is perfect when you want your trainer. He wants your trainer to be able to see that some guy might be better or one wrestler might be better than the other wrestler. So they go to the wrestler's pace and make it in the middle so that they both can be at the same speed. So it's damn good. So he definitely knows what he's doing. We got some workers coming in too. And um, we will have some interviews later. This is awesome. This is awesome, guys. I'm right now. I'm like in heaven. Only thing miss is that Kira's not here. Nice deep arm drag. Good deep arm drag, bro. That's good. So as you can see in the, as you can see in that one, these gentlemen are a little older and a little slower. So they probably be my speed, where you know you're not as agile as these guys, these younger guys. So we gotta compensate.
okay, so they lost their way, but that's okay. You're not going to get everything right off the, off, the, off the jump because, trust me, you make a lot of mistakes, and that's how you learn. You correct your mistakes, and that's what you got to do. You're going to make a million mistakes. You're going to get hurt. You're going to get burned. Guess what? Part of wrestling. You sign up to be a wrestler. This is what you're not a sports entertainer. It's being a wrestler. That's what it's about. And if you get in the ring with a guy like Alpha Jr., you better be ready to produce because he will give you your receipts. That's just facts. I'm not going to talk to any students right now because I don't want to distract them. But as you can see, they're putting the ring, they're putting up the the, uh, the barricades. They are getting ready for the show tonight. Kira, you have any questions out there? Um, we have a couple of new people here. I think they're new. Okay. So well, for, first of all, subscribe to the channel and hit that like and hit that notification bell because I'm going to be doing a lot of this all summer long. I tell you guys, we have new content, and this is the start of it. Uh, Alpha Junior, one of the greats. He's been all over the independent scene, former WWE superstar. He's made it to the big time already. So once you're there, you he, he's, he knows what to do. He knows what kind of gravitas you got to have to be in the business. And he, I right now am just a fly on the wall. You know, oh, here we go. Step over. Leap frog. Okay. Hip cross. All right. So they don't stay away. All right. So we go. Here you go. So you're gonna lock up. Here we go. Call an elbow. Side headlock. He's trying to work his way out. That's right here. Shoots him in. Shoulder block. Drop down. Step over. Hip toss. Leap toss. Here we go. Hip toss. Lock the hip toss into a hip toss. Okay. Here you go. Into an arm. Into a drop. So as you can see, the moves they did before with the drop kicks and the arm drag, they worked in to the drop down the shoulder block to step over the leapfrog, block the hip toss, into the hip toss, boom, into the arm drag, into the drop kick. I think I called it right. Wrestling All Day Podcast has a question for you. What's the question? Oh, you can't see? No. They said, are you going to be at PPW tonight? I will be I will be at PPW Never Back Down tonight at 7 p.m. It's a great card. Also, there's a meet and greet with The Godfather, with Cowboy Bob Orton, with Tasha Steele, and many more wrestlers. And the main event is former... Impact cha World Champion Moose going against this man right here, Alpha Junior. So he's pulling full duty. He's running his class, and he's still going to wrestle tonight. Let me tell you, when you see it up close, it's a lot different than when you see it on TV. Here's a lockup. I'm going to call this one for you guys. Here we go. Side headlock. We got the side headlock. He backs him up into the ropes. Shoots him in. Oh, wow. What a shoulder block. Drops down. Steps over. Leapfrog. Hip toss. Into the arm drag. Drop kick. Here we go. That's how you do it right there. And that's how you make the call, such as myself, the 10 lines one. I still got it. I still got it. Okay, we're going to do it again. All right, they lock up. Side headlock. Backs him in. Shoots him in. Massive shoulder block. He said, oh, he Puts a little boot face. He drops out. He steps over. He goes to the leap throw. Whoa. Just clears him. Nice hip toss. Uh, arm drag. Into the drop kick. And he powders out. All right. Not bad at all. And just so you guys know, I'm doing this so I can hear them and hear the ring and hear Alpha making the call as well. We got one of the students right here. I'm not going to distract and ask questions because I don't want Alpha to give me a receipt. But as a student, how old are you? 
So he's 38 years old. Okay, so he's 38 years old. See, so guys, if you guys still, you still can fulfill your dream and get your ass in this ring. Listen, it's a quick ride. I got here an hour and 20 minutes from Delaware. So if you live in Pennsylvania, if you live in Jersey, you live in Delaware, you can get down here to Battlefield Pro Wrestling. 137. What's the, what's the address again? Aaron? Aaron, right? Huh? Yes. Yeah, Aaron Lane. One. Rob Head, Pennsylvania, one, eight, three, three, three. Thank you, Kira. Thank you. So right now, and this is what Alpha does. Alpha is getting behind his guys. He's getting fired up. We got the ref in the ring. I want to get jacked like this guy when I grow up. I want to be like him when I grow up. All right, here we are again. Let's see if you guys can watch this one. All right, the ref's in the ring. They lock up. Here we go. Nice side headlock. Backs him in, shoots him in, shoulder block, referee has good position, okay, steps over, just clears him on the leap frog, hip tosses him, okay, calls it, arm drag, drop, drop kick, powders out, all right, and then you go off of rooting them on. So as you can see, they run this they run this drill over and over and over, and they give everybody a shot so they can get it right. So you're probably seeing guys who are probably not, I say intermediate. Um, there are a few pros in the ring, but I'm telling you, if you start at the beginning, you will pick it up very quickly. Do you have to be athletic? I would say 10%, because everything else is mental. You can learn the moves if you got the passion. Look at this. Nicely. Okay, so they got a little jammed up, but it's okay. Like I said, you're gonna make mistakes. It's not gonna be perfect because when you are in the ring in a match, you can't make a mistake. That's why you practice. Because what? Practice makes better. Okay. Well, you're doing it. Practice makes perfect. So, look. These guys, are, they got their water. You can tell they're a little winded. They're a little gassed, as they say back in my day. Well, let me tell you guys. I'm going to show you guys something now. I'm going to take a little walk. Okay? I want to take a little walk on the wild side. Okay? So, when you walk into the building, right? It's craziness. So, first of all, the parking lot is massive, as you can see. And it's going to be a great show tonight. And this is the entire facility. All the way down. So, you guys heard of the WWE Performance Center? Well, guess what? This is the Battlefield Pro Wrestling Performance Center. And listen, they do signature training here. Boxing, wrestling, fitness this is the signature training academy event center as you can see so i'm reporting live from the event center it's your boy ten lines and tony as you can see and we got a official here you, you what is your status sir security how you doing sir All right, I'm, doing I'm ten lines and tony you're live on youtube right now how you doing guys so this guy's make sure everything's peaceful calm and everything runs right right absolutely i come now, in i set it up i get everything ready for the venues meet and greets i wait for paul bow to get here we go our game plan Wait for the doors to open up. People come in. We have a great old time. People love it here. The signature. It's awesome. Uh, it, it's a family event. Anybody wants to come out, just check the website. We sell tickets uh, the night of the show. Right. It's ppwwrestling.com. Yes, sir. Come on. I got you, bro. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm old school. Okay. We here, bro. We're I know. Here. So I'm going to bring some guys down, too, by the way. I just so you, in case you don't know me, my name is Ten Lies and Tony. I am the YouTube champion. I'm also a former professional wrestler coming out of retirement. Me and I are going to talk about that later. But, uh, yes. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'm 54. So. Yeah, my son trains here with Alpha. Okay, and Alpha. Uh, he's I, not here right now, but, yeah, he trains with him. Uh, he's going to become a manager in let, his business. Let me ask you a question about Alpha, since we're here talking about Alpha. So, Alpha, formerly men new in the WWE, of course, right? Been all over the world wrestling. Yes. Now, i never seen him as a teacher. He's pretty good as a teacher. Best. He's hard. I, he, he's he's uh, hard, but he's fair. He's, well, fair. I'll give him fair. He's hard. He wants to train you the correct way, the way you need to be uh, trained, uh, so you don't injure yourself or then your opponent. Got you. Kira, you hear him good, right? You hear him? Yeah. 
Okay, I want to make sure. All right. So tonight we got Moose, former Impact World Champion. Big Moose. Big Moose going against Zafa. Absolutely. What a match that's going to be. Oh, it's going to be the highlight of my life. Bro, I can't wait. It's going to be a great, great card tonight. We got the Godfather's going to be here, correct? Woo! The whole train. The whole train. Right on. Cowboy Bob Orton, the father of... Giddy up, baby! The, the father of Randy Orton. Absolutely. Right? And Tasha Steele as well going to be here, right? Yes, she is. Listen, bro. I'm going to know all your local, your local wrestlers. Wow. Well, listen. In case you're in the area... We're in Broads, Headsville, Pennsylvania, 137, Aaron Lane. Listen, the show don't start till 7 o'clock, so you got time to get down here. There's tickets on our website, ppwrestling.com. If you want to train to be a wrestler, ha <laughs> or a manager, thanks, bro, or a referee, or an announcer, they will train you. Alpha does it all, and we're going to have footage all day long. Look at this, guys. Boxing, fitness, MMA, all ages. Here's a number right here. So they do it all here. <laughs> I haven't been showing you the rest of the performance center. Kieran, do you think we should do it now? Um, should we do it live? We should do it live, but we should get to a few of these comments because they've Let, been holding on. Let's get to the comments then. Oh, let's get Alpha. Hold on. Maybe we get Alpha. Let's see. So Alpha, okay. Let's see. Let's see if we get Alpha really quick. So here's some talent over here. Here's some of the talent. What's up? We got Afra. He's still running the class. I don't want to bother him. But he's, oh, all right. We're here. We're here live. We're live at the battlefield, baby. Yes. So whenever we get a chance, we will interview Afra. Don't want to interrupt his class. But as you can see, he has welcomed me here for the entire day. And what a, I'm not just saying this. What a privilege, man. I'm here with one of the members of Samoan Dynasty in his facility, inviting me here for the day. Like I said, the only thing missing is the producer and the little guy, Mikey, as well as Big Bucks Bobby, who we now call No Bucks Bobby. Hit the drum. <laughs> All right, so look, right here is one of the training areas. This is where they get the massages and everything done, right? It's the recovery lab, as you can see. Massage, muscles, uh, scraping, acupressure, spa services, the whole kit and caboodle, right? And, of course, here's the bathroom. <laughs> we won't go in there right now, but very clean, very nice. And then, everybody, you walk into the gym. Now, I don't want to show you anything yet because we, how you doing, miss? When you walk into this gym, you're saying, wait a minute. You might, you might think you're, you're in, uh, you're in Full Sail University, but you're not. You're in Broadheadsville, Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania. Are you guys ready to see the gym? Are you ready? We'll get to the questions in a minute. I I I, okay. I can't care. And the questions are not important right now. I love them all, but they, they got to see this because I'm like I'm anxious. I'm gonna just do a little quick turnaround. So the students have access to all this. Now, I bet you're asking yourself, "Hey, Tony, how do I get involved in PPW wrestling? How do I get to the Battlefield Pro Wrestling uh, facility, the training center?" Well, very simple. I will give you all the website and all the information in the description later. But let me tell you what's great about it. Alpha's prices are reasonable and very low. And I'm not just saying that. And if you use the name Tantalize and Tony, <laughs> you will get a discount. Not a lie. Facts. But as you can see, they have everything you want here. They got the Stairmasters. They've got bikes. They've got the treadmills. They've got it all here. They, they've got the ellipticals. You know, and we will be running promo class soon. And maybe I'll show these guys how to cut a proper promo. So we might have that live. We may have it taped. But at some point, you will see 10 lives will go one on one with other wrestlers in promo battle. So that's going to be something that we're going to try to do later as well. It's, it's a great day, guys. This is going to be an all day thing. So check out the channel all day long, please. All I can say is look, I told you guys. When it gets you better content, I tell you guys when it gets you, you're going to get me over the hump. And by doing that, I'm going to give you guys more content to share more content to get better wrestling information, wrestling knowledge for all you guys that you love, as well as what I love too. And as you can see, we got guys doing their thing. We got trainers here. It's, not, it's for males, females. Everyone's welcome. The L G T B Q plus community. Everyone is welcome, right? Mm -hmm. All are welcome. All are welcome. We're gonna talk to the. We're gonna talk to the uh, girl at the desk and see what she's about real quick. Let's put her on the spot. You know what I do? 
other than doing what I do best, I put people on the spot. So let's let's go talk to her real quick. How you doing, miss? Yes, I'm about to shout you out, so get ready. She's like, who is this guy? So first of all, my name is Tantalizing Tony. Yes, yeah, so right now you're live on my YouTube channel. Yes, I was invited by Alpha Jr. to cover all the festivities today. I'm a former professional wrestler, as I am the YouTube champion and the TWF World Heavyweight Champion. Yes, yes, be ready, be ready, be ready. So now what's your name, ma'am? My name is Erica. Your name is Erica. Yeah. I used to date a girl named Erica in high school. She was she. I had a. I dated her one day. She dumped me. No, uh, all Erica's. All Erica's that way. No. Okay, good. All right. I don't want no smoke. I don't want your husband and your boyfriend to beat me up. I just everything's cool. I don't want no Me Too going down on me. Okay, no. Okay, because I. They they say Me Too movement. I say not me. Okay, hit the drum. So, so Erica, and can you hear Erica, Ky, uh, Kira? Yeah. Okay, Erica. So we're. How long have you been working here? About a year. About a year. So you see a lot of people coming in and out. A lot of wrestlers, a lot of big guys, a lot of small guys, a lot of old guys, women, men. The whole deal. The whole deal. So how you liking it? I love it. Here. You love it here? Yeah. Well, tell me why. Um, well, we try to we try to reach all different levels of people. Um, we're we're not zoning in on just one particular type of person. We try to relate to everybody here, and we have um, you know classes and things that you know everybody can join in on. There's my little mini me in case she comes. In oh, oh, okay. How old is she? She's seven. Okay, I got a little four-year-old about to be five at home. He he'll be here next time. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, this my daughter's right there in the little box. She's my producer. She's gonna be 18 tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, she gets my nerves, but it's okay. okay. But um, <laughs> quiet girl. But um, so who have you met? Any any any, any famous wrestlers? No, no, not not at the moment. Not big ones. Usually here. Not usually. Events are taking place. Why why not? I work my during the I got you. I got you. I got you. Now, if you want to be a member of the gym, right? How do you get involved in the gym? Um, all you have to do is come in and sign up. Um, it's an easy process. There's no annual contracts involved, uh, and we have different memberships for different people. What you have a website? We do. What is it? It's signaturetrainingusa.com. Okay, we're gonna put that in the description, so you know maybe some people in the area can. Um, <laughs> now I live an hour. Yeah, you can also book appointments and um, sign up for membership. You have personal training as well. We do. Also. There we go. See, I asked I asked the in-depth questions, everybody. So, um, yeah, I live an hour and 20 minutes away, but I really got here in, like, 43 because I drove 112 the whole way. Hit the drum, Kira. <laughs> and, and here's a little girl right there. Future, future superstar. Now my son probably is going to see it. Hey, I want my – that's my friend. That's my friend. Because that's what he does. All right, so, Erica, nice talking to you. I appreciate you. Hope I didn't, uh, hope I didn't impose on you. I apologize. All right, well, there you go. Listen, I'll always be here to, to bug you, okay? All right. Thank you, Erica. So look at this, guys. Look at these titles. These are, these are boxing titles because they also do boxing. Look at this. Now, does anybody know what this title is right here? Look at those titles, guys. Oh, wow. Right, right. That is that the Rocky. That's the Rocky title, right? And this is the WBC World Championship. Look at this, though. Works it. Oh, these are some nice little titles right here. Look, oh, look at this. We got a boxing and a winged eagle. Somebody designed that. Hey guys, we might have to add a belt to the collection. <laughs> let's go. So let's get back into the ring area because I can't wait for the promo class. That's what I'm waiting for. Um, I believe that the meet and greet is at about four o'clock. So we're gonna come back later. Um, just. So you guys know what's going on. Kira, what's the question now? I saw Angel is up there. Is that Angel? Yes. Uh, somebody took my glasses out of the car, so I can't see. Not to mention, I don't have the charger for my batteries to plug in. Angel yeah. asked, um, you can tell, I mean, you can't tell during the live shows on TV, but it sounds really loud when they hit the net. Is it oh. always that loud? Yes, it is always that loud, but the what the reason why you don't hear is because when you're in like a WWE or AW ring, the ring is tighter and there's a spring in the middle. Now, not all not all rings have springs to them. Now, the way the ring works, let me get out of the way. The way the ring works is sometimes un underneath, if you can see underneath, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad, Alpha. Um, as you can see, under the ring, there's no spring under this one. 
but there's a there's a crank. So you're doing cardio right now, and cardio is very important when you're in the ring because if you get blown up in the ring, you're done. You, you, you lose everything because you lose your focus. You lose your breath. It's not your breath doesn't just control your legs; it controls your mind too. You don't have enough oxygen to your brain. You can't think about anything. You can't think about the moves. You got and you have to make sure that your opponent and you are working together. It's like a dance. Okay, you gotta realize something. If one ain't doing their job, it looks like crap. And as you can see, we got a worker here. So we have a wrestler and a referee training, and the referee is doing the exact same training as a wrestler, which means they've got to be able to do the same thing because you never know when a ref has to take a bump. Ref do Say it again, Refs do more matches, so they got to train twice as hard. So, uh, really good point. Refs do more matches, so they got to train twice as hard. You think about that because they got to be ready to go at any time. Like, what if a ref goes down? Another ref got to take over. Look at this. Now, look. No disrespect to anybody here, but the little, the, the shorter gentleman, he doesn't look like the most athletic guy in the world, but that's not what it's about. It's about his heart. It's about his determination. It's about it's going for your dream. This guy probably was an accountant somewhere, probably, you know, put, pushing pencils, saw the, saw the school and said, hey, I got my shot. You could tell he loves wrestling. He's got an Ultimate Warrior shirt on. So he's here because he probably grew, watched the Warrior growing up, and he knew he wasn't six foot eight. He knew he'd never be 300 pounds, but he knew he knew that he had a chance to do something in wrestling. It's not always about being in the ring because without the backstage guys, without the refs, without the lighting guys, without everybody, you have you cannot get in the ring. This is not just a two-person job. This is a job for everybody in the building. The guy that opens the doors, security, the trainers, the wrestlers, the workers, everyone. The fans would, of course, make it important. But guess what? If there's one person in the stands, you put a show on for one person in the stands. Now these guys are egg, these guys are cheering them on. They're out of breath. This guy is look like he lost 12 pounds a day. This guy's sweating like a dog. But that's what it's about, man. It's it's blood, sweat, and tears is not just a cliche. It's real work. These guys are working. And, the, and this guy here is really working. He's really getting down. He's gonna drop down, do his next push-ups again. Let's go. Let's go. Finish strong. And that's what it's about. It's about getting that one last push-up out. It's about getting that one last ring or run around the ring. It's about getting that last bit of energy and then another bit of energy when you think you have none. That's what being in the ring is about. It's not for everybody, but guess what? Anybody can do it if you have the determination. Great job. And now another two are going. Yo, guys, great job. Great job, guys. That was awesome. Here we go. We're going to watch this from the beginning. Now, Alpha, how many times do they have to do that? Uh, this is just half day. Half, we're going, we're usually it's 20 all the way to 1. Today's show day, we're only doing 10 to 1. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> For the man himself. So during the show day, they go half. So imagine doing the full. Oh, my God. Better get these knees ready. Better get these knees ready. Kira, please make sure that this is not monetized because I don't have, I have background music. I don't want to get caught any music, okay? We can't even hear anything. Okay, good. Um, make sure you hit the no for not for kids. And you, when you get a chance, hashtag it. Hashtag, um, hashtag Battlefield Pro Wrestling. Hashtag um, Samoan Storm. Hashtag Alpha and NOIE Junior. Okay? Mm. Or even hashtag Samoan Dynasty. All right? Mm -hmm. When you get a chance, you can do it. Have you guys gone already? Sir, we're still waiting. Oh, you're still waiting. Okay, so these guys are still waiting, and they went already. All right, so it's got some guys to go. He's a little winded, as you can see, but guess what? As long as he's breathing, I mean he still has air in his lungs. You guys are getting to see, you're getting to see exclusive content. Now, you'll get to see this everywhere, and, I, and you never get to see it live. We're doing it live. Any more questions, Kira? Yes. Um, Casteller Garcia asks, what 
which match are you looking forward to? Well, of course, I'm looking forward to the main event. We got Moose, the former Impact World Champion, going against my boy right there, Samoan Storm, Alpha Jr. Come on, let's go. What you think? The main event's where it's at tonight. The main event. I'm going with this guy right here. I'm going with that guy right there. No, no disrespect to Moose. Hope I don't see him because I don't want no smoke. But I got to go with my boy Alpha tonight, man. It's just, listen, come on. Any more questions? There are quite a few matches tonight. Well, let's hear them. Hold on a second. There's a lot. And I'm still going. I should have counted how many there were. We'll have highlights of all the matches in the next day or two. Hopefully. Probably. You be quiet. Kerry, your last day is 17, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, it's true. It's your last day of 17 years old. Tomorrow you're officially uh an adult. No. <laughs> oh, you're paying oh, you're paying bills. No. So these matches are tonight. Okay, read them off, Kira, because I can't see. Okay, is that, can't... is that bro? Is that bro Keller going against Facade? Yes. Okay, got you. For the PPW Heavyweight Championship. Oh, that's for the PPW Heavyweight Championship. Okay. okay. So we got that's a title fun. match tonight. We have action Andretti versus Zachary Wentz. Yes, yeah, Zachary Wentz. Okay. Griffin, Killian McMurphy. Okay. Uh, Brando Tarzan Duran. That's the Brando Lee versus Tarzan Duran is going to be a great match. Of course, versus Alpha Jr. Moose versus Alpha Jr. That's going to match of the night right there. Let's hold on a second right here. Hey, Chrissy, thanks for tweeting that out. Appreciate that. Samoan Dynasty and Alpha Anoint. I know, hey, thank you so much for tweeting that out. Appreciate that. The main event tonight, Moose and Alpha Jr. tonight right there. Yes, this is what we can't wait for. That's going to be awesome. Let's go. I'm be here all day, guys. I'm going to be here all day. I, I'm like Captain America. I could do this all day. <laughs> I lost count on how many matches, but there's still more. We have Tasha Steeles versus Danny Moe. Wow. Tasha Steele defending the title tonight. Did not know that. Mm -hmm. Good job. Great job. Good job. Or we have a PPW TV Championship ladder match. Fox Vineyard. I don't uh -huh. know. Sorry. That's With okay. Joe Davis versus Andy Hedder. Okay. So we got a ladder match going tonight. For the TV championship, the PPW TV championship. That's one, two, three. That's a three fourth. titles on the line. Wow. Three titles on the line. Okay. Now we have Alec Odin versus Timothy Theory for, is that, with um, Joe Davis. Is that Austin's brother? Hit the drum. <laughs> um, we have a tag team match. Vinny Talata and Miami Mike Walker versus South Philly's Finest. Now you know that's my favorite. You know, tag team matches are my favorite. I don't know if you knew that. I love tag team wrestling. Tag team wrestling doesn't get to do what it deserves. Because with tag team, you know, people say, oh, it's easy. No, it's not. Because you got sometimes four, sometimes six, sometimes eight people in the ring. There's a lot of moving parts there with tag team wrestling. If you can do tag team wrestling, you can definitely do singles wrestling. We have the Mitchell Minute. Oh. Nice little segment. And Mi I think this is the last one. Yes, last one. A PPW No Limits Championship rebrand um, rules match. Oh, so it's Rembrandt with Cosmo versus Wait, Chris Slade. Rembrandt rules match. Okay. Rembrandt versus Cosmic versus Chris Slade. Oh, oh, I got you. Okay. Well, this is some great. So we got four titles on the line tonight. Is that right? Um, I believe so. Maybe five. Maybe six if somebody else puts their belts up tonight. A lot of great matches. A lot of um, we have ladder matches, title matches, gimmick matches. 
You have them all. We have it all. It's going to be great. So right now, there's, as you can see, they're setting up here are the barricades. And like I said, everybody, this isn't for everybody. But if you have ever had the dream of becoming a pro wrestler or a ref or an announcer or working on the crew, ring crew, this is where to come do it. No disrespect to any other organizations that I'm affiliated with. This one's just, I'm not close in proximity, but closer to my heart. I've known Alpha Junior for about almost eight years now. People don't realize that him, myself, and L.A. Smooth, we go back to WrestleMania 31. Um, these guys took me under their wing, as, as, as well as Samu. Yes, Samu from the Head Shrinkers. Yes, yes. Took me under their wing and were very good to me. So, um, they're showing me a solid. Alpha Junior didn't have to do this. He had to invite me here. You know, I reached out to him, hit me right back, said, man, Tony, anytime you want to come down, you're always welcome, which is awesome. I'm tired just watching. I'm not going to lie. My legs are burning. My arms are burning from watching these guys. Hello, Ricky, Ravishing Rick Ramon, Jared, Chrissy. Tom. Mr. Cecilia Dibbs is there? No. Oh. Martin. Martin B. Mr. K9. Marco. First of all, Ravish Richie, what's up, my brother? I love you. Mr. Cecilia Dibbs, if you're watching, I totally forgot I was doing this today. I'm sorry. If Sam's watching, I'm so sorry. I've been neglecting my studies. A lot of things have been going on. I just my memory's not what it used to be. So please forgive me. I will catch up with everybody soon. Alex, forgive me for not calling you. Uh, you know, what can I do? Tom Gardner says that they wish they were there with you. It's not that far from them. Well, never too late. Show's not too seven. Yeah. Jared asks, is this an indie show? It's Battlefield Pro Wrestling Performance Center, PPW. Go to ppwwrestling.com for ticket information. You still got time to go. You still got time to get here. Show doesn't start till 7. Bell time, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Bell Standard Time. Yes. Bell time, 7 o'clock. What's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you, bro. Doors open at 4.30. Doors open at 4.30. Chip the tickets are not too bad in price. 15 20 25 $30 is the most for first row. Come on, man. You, you can't beat that. You get, get down here, guys. You get to see you get to see some some great wrestling action. Everything's not always WWE and AEW New Japan. Where do you think everything gets started from, man? Without the indies, without schools like this, you don't get you don't get what you see. You don't get a Roman Reigns. Okay, if you want to know something, guys, Roman Reigns and this guy have the same blood running through their veins. Alpha. Senior is his dad. Sika is Roma's dad. That makes them first cousins, which means these guys come from a lineage of great professional wrestlers. Not to mention, you had the great Yokozuna, Rosie, uh, Alpha and Sika, like I said, Rikishi, you know, Samu, LA Smooth. There are so many people that have come out of the, uh, not to mention Lance. There's so many people that have come out of this family who've done great things for the business. You know, there's a couple of wrestling dynasties. You got the Hearts. Who else you got? The Rhodes. Uh, the Briscoes. You got uh, the Lawlers. Uh, I'm missing some more. Um, but look, you tell me what wrestling family has produced people like The Rock, Rikishi? These guys have main event in WrestleMania. This guy was part of legacy. I mean, come on. Come on, guys, come on. 
And look at these guys rooting them on, which is what they're supposed to do. They're rooting them on. They're like a family here, man. He's, one day these guys may be working each other in the ring. These guys are going to work with each other in the ring one day. So, you know. We have any more questions, Kira? Um, not really a question, but Wrestling All Day podcast says, watch your chairs. Often Moose are going to tear it up. That does sound like it's going to be a great matchup. I know it's going to be crazy. It's mm -hmm. going to be nuts. And we're going to we're going to tape the event. And I'll... These two right here, these two are 16 and 17 years old. They're grinding. They're grinding out here with the grown-ups, with the adults. 16 and 17 years old. They know what has happened. Wow. 16 and 17 years old, Kira. So you're older than both of these, these students here. And this gentleman right here, he was doing his work in the ring. He was doing his arm drags. I, these guys are ready. Listen, it... <laughs> I don't know what you guys are waiting for. If you're if you're less than two hours away, get your asses down here, okay? I'm here. I'm here all day. This school is run crispy, crisply, professionally. Listen, I get excited about a lot of things, and I say a lot of things, but I'm not talking shit right now. I'm coming here as much as he lets me, okay? And guys, if you ever want to be in the ring, an announcer, an official... A referee? Come on! There is no excuses, guys. It's summertime. Let's go. And look, they're starting young. I wish I I started when I was I started when I was twenty. So you know, make nineteen. That's young. I, yeah, I wish I had those two years, and I wish I had Alpha then. There's no excuse now. COVID is tailing off. Wrestling is booming right now. And if you guys are not happy with the product you see out there, I hear a lot of complaints about, oh, WWE sucks. AEW does too much. Well, change it. Change it from the inside. Be part of the problem. That's the solution, not the problem. You guys are complaining. Stop complaining and stop bitching. Look at that. Alpha, look at that. Alpha is cheering them on. Look at that. Look at that. You got this. You got this. Let's go. That's how you train. This guy has not left the ringside. He's been here the whole time. Most guys just put somebody up there and say, oh, you do it yourself. Oh, you guys, he has another training. Oh, you guys do it. No, he's here doing the work. And he's running the show tonight. So he's booking too. And he's and working. He's in the show. Yes. Good job, good job, good job. Let's listen. And these guys are cheering them on. These are 16 to 17 year old kids. They're still in high school. Come on. If they can do it, you can do it. Get your ass down here. We're going to talk to Alpha later about you guys getting down here, getting a class, checking it out. It's going to be awesome. You got this. Let's go. Good job. Don't quit. Good job. And look at them cheering them on. We may follow her career from beginning to end. Never know. This might be the next Sasha. She might be the next Bailey. She might be the next Charlotte Flair. So you all got to start somewhere. Good job. All right. They're going to bring it in. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to listen in. We're going to listen on this. So some of these guys have matches tonight. Alpha's giving them more. Alpha's giving them a good a good talking to them know what they're doing. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. Let's go. They are battlefield, and that's what it's about. And they are hyped up. All right. Some of these guys are working tonight. What a great class right there, guys. You guys got to see it guys, inside. Guys are going home and coming back, bring back all black. All black, all black for tonight, please. So some of these guys are part of the show. What's up? Some of these guys have been working the ring. Some of these guys are part of the crew. This is a great inside look at what happens at an indie show. How it starts, 
how it finishes. He ran his school on the same day as the show, which most promotions don't do. Most promotions, this they just go through the motions and say, you know what? Let's get the ring up. Let's get the talent ready. No, he wanted to make sure his students knew it's business all the time. It's always on. It's Battlefield Pro Wrestling. Who are we? We're Battlefield. We ain't playing no games. And I guess it's not just that love is a battlefield. Hit the drum. It's Battlefield all day long. So it's going to be a good night. As you can see, I have full reign of the building. The production center is over here. Um, let's check out these guys real quick. As you can see, here's my camera set up. I'll be doing interviews later. Um, we're going to be talking off about a few things. Hold on a second. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? I'm Tony, man. Excuse my left hand. I'm Tony. How you doing, man? So, yeah, we're live right now on YouTube. Are you tantalizing, Tony? I am. Is this the nation of tantalization? Yes. How, how did you know? Because your shirt says so. <laughs> I'm sorry? How you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you doing? I'm so glad to be here. What's your name? My name is Big Sean Kramers. I do uh, the preview show and I handle all the video production here alongside this guy, Johnny Ringside. Okay. Okay, Paul. I know, you know what? I know Paul Bo. Yeah, see if he remembers me. He probably won't. I met him at um where do we meet him, Carol? Where we meet Paul Bo at? In Philly. That sounds about right. Icons of wrestling. We're icons of wrestling, right. So yeah, there's Paul Bo. He'll remember me once he sees me. But, um, Sean, so what do you do exactly here? What's your exact? Um, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't have a job title. I just do a little bit of everything. That, and so basically, you see that? So basically, if not for me and this team here, this doesn't make it to Fight TV or we don't have television. There you go. So they're on Fight TV. They're on TV. You know, I gotta. I have to make sure I can what I can put up and what I can't. So don't worry, guys. I'm not going to get any kind of copywriting problems. I don't want no smoke, bro. I don't want no smoke. But I will put some clips up when I can, you know. Fist. Yeah. Sorry? Follow the production. Close Fist. Close Fist Productions, baby. Okay, so Close Fist Productions. Kira, look that up. Put the that. Close Fist on Facebook. Okay, The Close Fist. Kira. And on Twitter. And on Twitter. Put that in the description, Kira. The Close Fist. Also, if you're into sports cards and sports breaks, uh, especially wrestling cards, if this is uh, mostly a wrestling podcast. It's all wrestling. That's awesome. Yes. Follow the Nerdy Buffalo. They do card breaks. So all the newest stuff, everything coming out by Prism. Or by Panini, that is. And uh, he's got old stuff, too. Be into Japanese wrestling. The Nerdy Buffalo is the place to get all of that. Make sure you check it out. Follow PPW Entertainment on all social media outlets as well for all kinds of television and all that good stuff. Be sure to follow the Tornado Tag Podcast. This other gentleman over here that you met earlier is Anthony Blackwell. He runs that. And uh, man, thanks for having us on. No, thanks for having me here. I'm, I, I plan to be back uh, maybe. Never mind. We'll talk about that later. But um, everything will be in the description. You heard it. the guy talks good as me. I like that. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you, man. Nice Thank to you. Meet you, man. you I was waiting. I saw you were busy, so I figured. We'd I'm never late. too busy to talk to you, bro. You come talk. You come grab me, bro. We all in the same family. We in this shit together, right? Oh, yeah. What's up, man? Excuse my name. I'm staying the whole day. I mean, your first PPW show. My first PPW. I'm here all day. I'm here for the entire show. You got, you got plans? Uh, Streaming on, bro. By the way, Tony, great name. I'm also a Tony. A rings, a ringside camera guy. We'll talk in a second. Okay, go ahead. Uh, great name, Tony, by the way. I'm also Tony. There you go. Uh, I'm part of the Tornado Tag podcast, and I also do commentary here. At okay, you do commentary. Yeah. I'm so that means you can talk. I, I try. Yeah. You try. So that means you, you, that means you have to get the gap. Sure. Yeah. That means I you like can, podcasts, so I talk a lot. Well, we got to talk because, you know, the 10 Lines and Tony Wrestling Show, we're at now at 4,000 subscribers. Nice. We just started. Nice. We're only a year in. Nice. So, you know, we cover everything, you know. I, I know Alpha from back in the day. He invited me down. I'm gonna cover the entire show. Cover the promo classes. Pro, cover everything, man. Cover whatever I gotta cover, bro. Because I'm here for PBW. I'm here for Battlefield Pro Wrestling. Cause it's what I do. It's not just who I am. It's what I do. Now put yourself over right now, bro. Yeah, Tornado Tag Podcast. We're live on YouTube as well every Thursday night at 7:30. We uh, we usually do like a history topic, or we do like a, watch an old show, and we we mix a little at the beginning of like current day wrestling and independent stuff like here. So uh, I work from the Northeast Pennsylvania area, so we're always around covering some fun stuff. Just give him a card. He'll subscribe, and yeah. we'll subscribe to him too. Everybody watching, repeat it one more time. Uh, the Tornado Tag Podcast. Our next, we just did um, King of the Ring '94. We reviewed King of the Ring. I 94. saw that. Yeah, 
And uh, we'll be doing the History of the Bullet Club on Thursday because they're a good friend of the podcast. Ace Austin just joined the Bullet Club. So, okay. Yeah, so Ever we'll think about having any guest commentators on, like a guy always, named Tim Lowes and Tony? Because he knows a little bit of things. You know, he has a bit of gravitas from back in the day, former professional wrestler. What's up, bro? Good to see you again. You know, you know, we'll talk, right? Yeah. Because, you well, know. We always have a spot open for you. And you're in the stream yard, so you know how to get on there. So. Of course, bro. That's how we do, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's, we use the same thing. So. Good. Yeah, you know, it's cheap. It's easy. You know. We're going 4K. We're good. You know what I'm saying? Who do we got here with us? This is my producer, Kira. Give me a split screen, please. This is my producer, Kira. She turns 18 tomorrow. It's my daughter. Congratulations. You're doing a great job of producing. She just graduated uh, last Sunday from high school. Congratulations. So, yeah. She, um, Kira, get everything. Get all this info. Put it in the description. All right? We got Paul right here. Paul, Paul's Paul's going to go outside. I'll be back. Paul will be Hello? back. Hey, what, what matches are you excited for tonight? Well, I didn't know we were having a, a, a ladder match tonight. We are. Actually, one of my uh, co-hosts on the podcast, Andy Hedder, going in that ladder match for the uh, WYLN title. Wow. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I didn't know Tasha Steele was wrestling either. Tasha Steele for the title against Danny Moe. One of my favorites. But, of course, I'm looking forward to Moose versus Alpha. Bro. Oh, last, they, time, last time they wrestled, uh, you, the fans got more than they bargained for because they were all over the building. Well, I better move my equipment because I... <laughs> I'm broke and I can't afford to buy more stuff. Hit the drum, Kira. <laughs> yeah, a lot of great matches. Uh, Action and Dreddy is going to be a name after tonight. You're going to be following like crazy. Super, super talented. Uh, Killian McMurphy on the card tonight, which is going to be a, a fun time. Uh, there's so many. PPW always brings some great names. Uh, Cowboy Bob Wharton will be here hanging I out. I can't the wait. The Godfather will be here hanging out. So, so real quick about the Godfather. So my my ultimate dream is to get members from the Nation of Domination to say stay tantalizing. I already have Ron Simmons. There you go. I already have Mark Henry because we're good friends. I love Mark Henry. I already have D'Lo Brown. I, I'm I did the commentary of D'Lo Brown one time. Wow. That's awesome. My dream. Yeah. I'm only missing two. The Godfather and The Rock. And The Rock. So, and there's one other one that you won't be able to get. Of Owen, of course. Of course, Owen, of course. But if I can get Godfather, I'm one away. So I have a different dream of The Godfather, but we can't talk about it on the internet. because. Well, when my daughter leaves, we can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's, so, he's known for a lot of things. I yes, yes. The ooh, train. Okay. Um, so, Kira, you hear me? Yes. All right. Thanks. So, Kira, we're gonna go walk around a little more. How much? How much time are we in, Kira? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yes. Fifty-seven. We'll, we'll, I'll follow you. We'll talk. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk. Listen, guys, this is awesome. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna see where Alpha is, and then I'm gonna sign off. We're gonna come back. Um. Kira, I'm following you. I set a stream for four o'clock, four p.m. You Eastern. You said six thirty. No, because I'm thinking about the so get these people to meet to do the meet and greet. So let's let's go four o'clock if you don't mind. I know you're tired. I know you this, you didn't bargain for this, but I need you, kid. Um, okay. Thank you. So, um, what time is it now? Two thirty-three. All right, set it up now. I'm gonna sign off in a minute. Um, I'm gonna charge my camera. I'm gonna charge my phone. And everything. Make sure we're good to go. Um, listen, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show today. I hope you enjoyed uh, a little, a little, um, little peek, a little sneak peek of what's going to go on tonight. Any more questions before we go, Kira? Um, no. We just have a lot of um of indie wrestling fans in here. That's They're cool. excited for the show tonight. So, listen, you still got a chance to get down here. Showtime is at seven. P.M. Eastern. Hey, great job today. Great job. Um, 7 p.m. Eastern. You still can get down here. You still got a chance, man. Good job today, bro. Um, don't if you're in the area, if you live less than 100 miles away, if you don't come, you're full of crap. <laughs> End of story. Because I live 108 miles away and I got here. So I don't want to hear any excuses that oh, it's too far. Get your ass in your car and drive down here. Come to the PBW show, meet your boy at 10 Eliza one, and get ready for some great wrestling action tonight. Um, everybody hit the notification bell because we're gonna be back at 4 p.m. and then we'll be back one more time and then check for clips all night long. I won't run the show live because I can't, I'm not gonna get copywritten, I'm not gonna burn any bridges. But guess what, guys? This is the start of a beautiful relationship between Battlefro, excuse me, Battlefield Pro Wrestling and the 10 Lives and Tony channel, as well as PPW. Everybody, this is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. This is the break I've been waiting for. Samoan Dynasty member, Alpha Jr., has opened his doors to the 10 lines of money. That means you guys get an inside look 
or what's going to be happening in this. And he just described. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. You get an inside look of what's happening in the wrestling world today. It's awesome, guys. Be ready. Do not miss this show tonight. You still got time to get down here. 137. Aaron Lane, correct? Um, I believe so. Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania. Yes. It's One not eight, that three, far. Two, two. Yes, thank you for giving the zip code, Kira. You got time. Doors open at what time, Kira? Doors open at 4.30. Doors open at 4.30. And the show doesn't start till 7. You still got time for the meet and greet. It's not even 2 o'clock. Is it 2 o'clock? Oh, no. Doors don't open at 4.30. That's the meet and greet. Sorry, right, the meet and greet. Right, that's fine. But get here for the meet and greet, too. Meet and greet, everybody. Meet and greet me, too. I'm down here. Don't, 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 don't bullshit. Okay, I said it out loud. This is going to be a great show tonight. It's going to be a great show. If you're not here, you're lame. If you're in the area and don't come, I don't want to hear it. Unsubscribe. If you live within 100 miles and you don't come, unsubscribe. I don't want to see you. I don't want to talk to you. That's it. I'm just joking. I love you guys. All right. Any last questions, Kira? No, sirree. All right. Everybody, tonight's the night. We'll be back at four. What did you say? Four, right? That's what you said. That's what I said. Hit the drum. That's what I said. Four o'clock will be here. That's in about an hour and a half. Go get some eat. Go take a shower. You stink. Oh, is that me? I smell good. If you're a member of Nation Channelization, you guys better check this out. Guys, hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe. And don't forget, guys, tonight, PPW, never back down here live in Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania. 137 Erin Lane. Google it. PPWWrestling.com. Tickets still available. All right? Kira, any closing thoughts? What do you think about today, Kira? How do you think the show went, Kira? Uh, it looks like a very good school. They look very productive. Looks like they work them really hard. And he said this is only a half work day. So I'm just imagine what the full work things are. But it, Go ahead. Go ahead. it looks fantastic. Looks like you're having a great time. We're excited for tonight. Definitely excited for you. Before we leave, let's talk to two of the students because why not? You know what I mean? What's up, guys? Excuse my left hand. It's all good. It's all good. I'm Tim and Tony. How you doing? Good. good to see you guys. What's your name, sir? Trey Peterson. Trey Peterson. What's yes. your name? I am uh, Danger Jameson, professional stuntman. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Are I you go not by, wearing the helmet? <laughs> I go by Trey Heat, the protector Achilles of BPW. Okay. Okay. So you guys working tonight? Tonight? You guys working? No, I'm not. You're not? Are you? Not sure, so, but you never know. There's always a, yeah. a wall to run into. So you, games, so. You, you got, you know what the saying is, right? I always bring your gear, right? Always, okay, always. okay. In the car. That's emergency. Okay, so in case you guys don't know, let me see if I can get this right, Kira. Kira, get, put yourself in a little box, please. Thank you, hon. In case you guys don't know, my name is Tan and Tony. I'm the YouTube champion, also the TWF World Heavyweight Champion, former professional wrestler. I'm 54 years old. I retired, coming out of retirement this year. Don't know why, but I was asked to. So I'll be wrestling at Double Nickel. I don't know why 55. I'm crazy, but anyway, um, it's all good. yeah, I know. Checking out the school, you guys really impressed me with your cardio. Number one, yes. with your attention to detail was great. I, I saw you guys paying attention. I saw you guys watching everything. I told you guys. I saw, and even when you guys, you, not you personally, but I saw when you guys made mistakes. Everybody, you guys corrected them. That's what it's about. You learn more from making a mistake than you do from doing it right. So your bumps were crisp, by the way. I like the flat hands on the mat. You guys look good. I, I know my shit, just so you know, okay? All right, all right. Um, I want to be like this guy when I grow up, though. Him right there. He's Jack. He's Jack the stack. Yeah, but Carl hasn't grown up yet. Nah, he's grown up. He's grown up. Can I talk to you real quick? Get in here, big man. Get in here, bro. Look, look, this guy, I want to be like this guy when I grow up, man. Okay, This guy right here knows his shit. He knows his stuff. Introduce yourself to the people, man. Lucius Crow, every man's motivation, every woman's wet dream. Oh, ah, well, excuse me. This is a family show. It's a, it's, how you do you get family? Boom. First of all, he just took my Monica. I thought I was the tantalizing one that used to, that, that takes all the chicks down, you know, down a, you know, never mind. Let's get low. It's a family show. But anyway, listen, man, just so you know, you look great in there today. You. you working tonight? Um, no, not tonight. Not tonight? You sure? You, you ready? You ready? You had to go. You ready? Right? Yeah, I'm ready. If I had to go. Okay, he's ready. See, he's ready. Gears in the car, of course, right? Yeah, I just came to be. I, I basically came today just to support my brothers and in case they need help because I'm also a personal trainer and a 2022 Arnold Classic winner. So I go in here and just just to improve myself, but also improve my brothers because it's a fact. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! 2022 Arnold Classic winner. Now, in case you know, prior to this, 
I weigh 390 pounds. Just so you know, I'm at, I'm at 220 right now. Just so you know. Well, you know, well, you know, I had a little help. I ain't gonna lie. I got a little gastric sleeve surgery. Had to us in some danger of my health, but I'm still working out. We're going to talk later because I got to get like you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not BSing, but we're going to talk. I only live an hour and 20 minutes away. I travel anywhere. I go wherever you are. All right. But listen, these guys are ready tonight. These, these, these guys were ready. I was so impressed because you go to a lot of schools and it's bullshit. You know, they go through the motions. These guys were working tonight. They were working hard. It was no BS. I didn't even have time to talk to me. He, said, hey, he, he told me when to come in, told me to back off. And that's what I do. I don't want no smoke. I'm not ready for no chops. I'm not ready for no problems tonight. Right now. I'm not. I'm not ring ready. I'm not ring ready yet. It's all good. But if I may, I, I do have to say that. So I actually came back from a uh, three-year hiatus of wrestling. Uh, Alpha reached out to me. Alpha, I've known Alpha since my first day. He's always looked out for me. He actually gave me my character. You want to ask him for the story. He loves telling it. But uh, coming to the battlefield, I feel more confident as a wrestler than I than I ever have. The, like, the only complaint I have is that I didn't have from the beginning. Um, and this group, I love this group. I'm so happy to be with these guys. It, you see how you saw how supportive they are. We are with each other. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, it helped bring back my love for wrestling. I can't. I can't say thanks enough to all of them. Except that, Code Red. Code Red. That's awesome. That's that's yeah. awesome. That's one thing. One thing, one thing you'll definitely have in in this field of Dada. For good side. Yeah, yeah. Remember, you sure. No, but one thing that honestly, one thing that you'll have in this in this camp is a lot of stories and a lot of past. Last year Memorial Day, I died. I have a, it, I have a, a scar on my head. I had a six-inch rock go in. Three inches of that rock went in my brain and killed me for 22 seconds. But it's not about my past. When we talk about Battlefield Pro Wrestling, it's all about our future. Wow. She had a, TB, she had a TBI. Yeah. Wow. You came back from it. See, that goes to show you that if you have determination, if you have the will, you have control of your own destiny. That's just the way it is. That's not cliche. That's the, that's the truth. Let me tell you guys something. One more thing I want to say before we sign off, because we'll be back at 4 o'clock. When I walked in the building, and you know this from being a part of professional pro, pro wrestling. I've been in wrestling since 90, my God, 91 when I started. You walk into a building, right? You walk into an arena, and it's always egos. It's always this fucking guy, right? You guys walked in, put your hands out, smile, shook my hand like you knew me. You didn't know the hell I was. Who the hell is this jabroni? But you guys welcomed me. So you could tell when you walked in the door that these guys – have been trained properly. They've got they've got the heart. They've got the will. They've got the respect. And in wrestling, you got nothing without respect. And that's just facts. Oh, and that's yeah. not just a cliche. That's that's real talk right there. So look, everybody, this was a great day, and it's not over. We'll be back at four o'clock Eastern live. Hit that notification bell. All you guys in here. What's your name, sir? Cold this red. is Code Red. Code Red. That's right. Code Red. Now, I I've seen you somewhere else other than here. You know, you might have caught me on Tough Enough too. I was on that many years ago. Before. I did catch you on that, but somewhere else in the independent scene. We, how old are you? Thirty-eight. So starting, see, I'm a little older than you, but we've crossed paths. I, I'm, I have a lot of concussions, so I remember. Just got one. This. <laughs> I remember like Thursday, I'm like oh shit. But um, Code Red. Let me get your take real quick. What's good? Like you talking about the school? Everything, bro. Oh life. man, the camaraderie is real here. Like I mean, we all came from different walks of life and. Realistically, it's like we all just click together. It's like oh, yeah, like yeah, a big yeah. ass pot of soup. You know what I mean? I like soup. Who soup. doesn't like soup? I like soup. It's like a goulash. Goulash of greatness soup. over here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. Double G. Goulash of greatness. greatness. Hashtag that. All right. I like that. All right, Kira, give me a split screen. Good job. All right, we're gonna call it a night or a day. Excuse me, we're gonna call it lunch. You guys get some eat. Take a shower. Some of you guys think you smell terribly. Not these guys. They're doing good. They smell like they smell like peppermints. Anyway, look, everybody. <laughs> We're gonna call it. Guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell because you cannot miss what's going on today at Battlefield Pro Wrestling at uh, PPW. Oh my God, I'm getting for clipped here. I'm hyped. Let's go, everybody. I'm your boy, the Ten Lives One. Kira, great show. I love you. Hey, guys, don't forget, hug your family members. And I promise tomorrow, pray every day because you're going to pray to make this day. And of course, as always, you know what they're going to do? They're going to sign off for me. When I say right. one, two, three, you guys are going to say, stay tantalizing, all right? All right? Stay tantalizing, okay? And as always, do I do best? One, two, three. Stay tantalizing. What they said. We're out.